If you play Hong Kong Mahjong and want to test your decision making when you get your dealt hand, try random pulls. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to build on your skills, consider subscribing. And don't forget to click the bell so you get notification when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. I also have a wind of the round indicator. We'll do one for each wind of the round. We'll start with east. And we're going to say there's a three fawn minimum. I decided that I will be playing at a eight point minimum table at Mahjong time. So I'm going to train myself to play three fawn hands. So I'm going to do four random pulls focused on a three fawn minimum. We'll just say we're the dealer for the first one. So I'll put up a one and it is east round. So we'll get 14 tiles. We have two flowers, a one, and we're seat one. There's a fawn right there. Let's get replacements. So we need to find two fawn in here somewhere. I'm thinking we should play maybe cracks. Here's a six, five, six, seven. There's some potential there for two chows. Or we could play all pung. I think that's probably what I would do here because there's another pair. We could pung, 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 pung. All we need is a pair. All pung is three fawn, plus we'd have a fawn for this flower. So this would be a four fawn hand that meets the three fawn minimum. All pung. If I decided to go for half flush, that would be even more. Half flush, all pung would be three, six, seven, eight fawn. That would be nice. But I think for a quick mahjong, all pung, three fawn plus a fawn for the flower. That would do it. If you would do something different here, let me know. We are on South Round. And this next time, seat 12, which is a multiple of four. So that would be seat four, North. As non-dealer, we get 13. We are seat four, we have a two flower. That won't bring any score, but let's see what we can do. We need three fawn minimum. Three fawn minimum. Woo, pair of norths, that's our seat wind. So that could potentially bring a fawn. And I think for the other scoring, we should play a half flesh, which would be cracks with honors and get rid of these right here. These are all, well, there's a bit of ch uh, chow potential here, but a, an all chow hand would bring one fawn. We need three fawn minimum. And a half flesh is three fawn. We could pung the north, that would be four fawn. Pung the north, pung the nine, pung the seven. We would need to fill in here somewhere or pair up. Half flesh, pungs or chows, it doesn't matter because a half flesh is three fawn. Plus if we get a pung here, that would be a fawn all by itself. Discard these. Let's do west round. And this time we're going to be seat 10, two, four, six, eight, 10 is south. Let's 
Let's roll to see which seat we're in. I rolled an eight, so we'll be in seat four. West round seat four. We have two flowers, one and three. They won't help, but we can get replacements. We have a couple of dragons. We have a west. Those may help get us to a half flush. The challenge here is we have mixed suits. I'm thinking we should probably try for all pung. We do have two pair here, right here, two and three. So I would hold on to the dragons and hope to pair up for dragon pungs, which would be a fawn all by themselves. And then we could maybe collect dots and hold on to the threes for as long as possible maybe try to get to a half flush and sacrifice the threes. I think I would go ahead and discard these right here. Go for either a half flush or all pung if we could pair up. That's how I would achieve a three fawn minimum here. If you would do something different, let me know. North round. We are going to be in seat eight again. So that is north. Oops. Three flower. We'll get a replacement. We're playing in north seat, so that's not going to help. We do have a fair bit of cracks. We have a pair of eights though, no other pairs. Yikes. This is gonna be a long haul of a hand. I think this might even be a defense hand because we have mixed suits, only one pair. I think I would probably play defense, try to collect cracks because that's the most, the, the suit with the most tiles. Hold these for as long as possible, just in case we draw into pairs, discard these. If you start out with a hand like this that we did in the north round, where the prospects are pretty bleak, meeting that three fawn minimum, that would be a long road to haul. And if everybody's going for a quick win, you could be left in the dust. That might be a good time to play defense through that particular game and just try not to throw the winning tile and hope for a better start with the next hand and then go all out for a higher score. That's an option that I've been considering when starting with a difficult position. I think they call that shape, the shape of your hand. If there's no shape there for meeting the minimum, play defense. Let me know what you think about that strategy. Write in the comments section your thoughts about that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. And don't forget to click the bell so that you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategies or pick up on an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.